Hey, this is Mark Dickinson with a tutorial for Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, today, what I'm going to do from a suggestion from Bernadette from Facebook, I'm going to teach you guys how to edit a photo uh, in uh, Photoshop, specifically how to adjust white balance. Uh, while this is not normally done with uh, Photoshop for me, I actually use Lightroom to do all my adjustments and balances. But what I want to do here is uh, in Photoshop, it's a real easy way to do it if you have a singular image in there, whether it's a JPEG, RAW, or TIFF. There's like three or four different ways to do it, but uh, let's get it started. As I was mentioning, I usually do everything in Lightroom, but I've already got this image that is in Lightroom opened up. And once you're in here, uh, generally if you do not have the settings completed already, you'll not be able to open JPEGs and TIFFs and other files except for RAWs in Adobe Camera Raw. So the first thing you want to do is come down to Preferences, go to Performance, or excuse me, File Handling. And then once that is completed and opened up, you're going to see down here where uh, File Handling is already selected for you. If you did General, you can come down to File Handling. Either way, you can get there. Uh, then you're going to do Camera Raw Preferences. This is the trick to it. And the way that you want to open up camera raw settings is all controlled right here with JPEG and TIFF. Normally it is uh, set to automatically open TIFFs with settings, but what you want to do is automatically open all supported TIFFs and all supported JPEGs. And I'll show you what that will do now. And this is going to be your easiest way to white balance. What uh, you're going to find out is once you drag and drop an image, I may have to reopen it in here, but Photoshop is going to then open up all of your JPEGs and your TIFFs into Adobe Camera Raw. Once you're in the set, you can then have all kinds of adjustments here, similarly to what is in Lightroom or uh, the other Adobe Photo Manager. But you can move your white balance any which way you want to. You can do exposure, you can do shadows, you can do contrast, blacks, whites, etc. down through there. Now if you don't want to go this route, there's the other option that you can do in Photoshop itself. So let's cancel this. We're in here as it is. And what you want to do is right click on this, create a smart object. This way you're doing some non destructive editing. And from that point, you're going to do filter and then camera raw filter. This is going to be your easiest method to get here if you do not want to do your setting changes to open TIFFs in there. Uh, you're going to actually see the same exact open file dialog with the camera raw and this is going to apply a filter to it. So if you want it a little bit warmer and white balance is what you're talking about, you can do that. The other option you can do is the color picker, which let me make sure here that, uh, let's see, we have auto, we can do default, and up here in the corner is the white balance tool. If you want to pick a white object or a gray, 50% gray object, you can. As you can see, as you go around that image, it's going to, like his shirt's 50% well, gray-ish, but again, you can come in and get a reference. It's going to also change your uh, tint to change those magentas to kind of match that. But if you usually go on a white or a gray object, it looks really good. You can uh, again come in and suit to your liking. But make sure you also have your color profile set up. And if you don't know how to do that, maybe another tutorial about color profiling. Uh, I'm using the Adobe uh, 1998 RGB. That's that. And let's jump back over to Lightroom. If you're not using Lightroom, again, this is going to be very familiar to a lot of people, but if you're not using Lightroom, the Adobe Camera Raw settings are almost right here. Uh, some will argue that it has a bit different uh, adjustment power in Photoshop, but for the most part, when I click and uh, sample the locations, it does very similarly what uh, Adobe Camera Raw will. So. This is going to be the easiest way that you can come in and edit your photos in either Photoshop or if you're not using Lightroom already, Lightroom is going to speed up your workflow tremendously. So again, this is Mark Dickinson with the tutorial for editing white balance in Lightroom. Please subscribe down below, click like if you haven't already, and if you'd like to leave a comment in the comments below for another tutorial you'd like to see, I'd love to help you out there. Thanks again, this is Mark Dickinson with a tutorial for Photoshop in my room.